What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and the penultimate day here in the south of France. Now today's vlog is going to be slightly different to previous vlogs. I've realised that over the last three or four days we've pretty much done exactly the same thing. We've gone to Starbucks, we've uploaded, we've done a bit of car spotting and then in the evening we've done the alternate car spotting. So this video, as you might be able to tell from the title, I don't know where I was looking as if the title was over there, um, I'm going to be talking about my passion for Lamborghini. Ever since I was 10, 12 years old, I've always been in love with the brand and the cars that they build. And for some reason, this summer, there has been tons of Lamborghinis driving around in Monaco. Usually it's Ferraris, and I come away from Monaco wanting an F12 or a 458 or a 488 even. Whereas this time, for some reason, there is a lot of Lamborghinis, Hurricanes, Aventadors, Aventador SVs, similar to the London car scene. Now, this all goes back to my Lamborghini dream of wanting to own one by 25, but luckily, um, something incredible happened. In, in October last year, I actually bought a Lamborghini Gallardo Bicolore, which you may have seen some videos on. However, it just didn't seem like I did the Lamborghini ownership any justice. I think I bought the car at the wrong time over the winter and eventually sold it in March with all of the things and the plans coming up I've explained in why I sold the Lamborghini video in uh, the video link in the description. So without being too long-winded in this intro I basically want to use this opportunity today the next 24 hours to talk about the revival of the Lamborghini dream all of the Lamborghinis that we see today and basically let you guys know that I am thinking about in the next 12 months that potentially I could be getting a Lamborghini. So is that the right way of saying? Okay. Either way I want one. I just need to work hard. I just need to work hard. And then maybe get one. Sure is a confusing way to film a video. I am, oh yeah, I see this made back. I am trying to work out in my head. We're filming five videos today, including daily vlogs. Interesting drive down, managed to see three Lamborghinis, which is pretty cool. And now we're in central Monaco, so we're gonna be doing a bit of car spotting, hunting down the elusive or not so elusive Lamborghinis. First question I suppose I should answer, or maybe potentially a question that you're thinking whilst watching this is, I'm not selling my AMG just yet. I still want to keep that car. I've still got a few modifications and things that I want to do on that car. I absolutely love it. So in my eyes, the AMG is one of the most perfect cars out out there but seeing Aventadors, seeing Hurricanes, even seeing Gallardos and Murcielagos here in Monaco, there's just something that is making my blood pump that little bit faster. Exactly how every single time I drove my Gallardo it made me feel. have just missed arguably one of the best specced Lamborghini Hurricanes <laughs> I've ever seen. Damn, I'm so annoyed that I missed this. Italian Lamborghini Hurricane. All black, green calipers, green stitching, 
and that. That is what I absolutely love. I know the engine bay is supposed to be showing off the V10, but for some reason, I love the look of the matte black slats. We've just driven past the Casino Bay Hotel. Seb has dropped me off there because I've spotted a matte white, I think it was matte white, Aventador. Oh, there's another Aventador up there, perfect. So this is from Saudi Arabia. You can see at the bottom there. So we've got matte white with red interior. The Lambo V12 has always been a favorite of uh, Middle Eastern supercar owners and drivers. Very cool. And then let's go and quickly check out this one, Aventador Roadster and Batman spec. This is essentially exactly the same spec from Batman. I can't remember which Batman. Nose lift up. Like a monster truck back there as well. And I think, I think that is it. So Aventador Roadster and Aventador, both incredible cars. They sound phenomenal. By far the best thing that I love about the Aventador, not only is the looks, but when you decat it, when you put an exhaust system on it and decat it, so Capristo decat, here's another Aventador. That's up there. Oh, that's it. As I was saying, when you put an aftermarket exhaust system on it and decat it, it spits massive flames, but it sounds incredible. It sounds incredible. That is Lamborghini Sports exhaust. Um, but, hey, that was good timing. Did he stand up? No, the anniversary, Anniversario arrived. So there's also an Aventador road shop there as well. So three Aventadors at one hotel. Okay, I'm gonna give this a whirl. We're driving down into the center of Monaco in the Renault Twizy. I have no idea if you can hear me, but whilst we're in a car that has got Lamborghini doors, let's talk about my favorite elements of each Lamborghini that is currently available on the market, apart from the Gallardo, because we've talked about that a lot on my channel. Murcielago LP640, my favorite thing about that car is obviously how it sounds, and how it looks. I've heard that how it drives is very similar to the Lamborghini Diablo. So when I get back to London, I really want to try and drive an LP640 just to, just to experience it. I have driven one on a racetrack and it was a manual, but I wasn't allowed to push it. I want to drive it on the road so that I can really get a grip of what it is like to drive and live with. Moving on to the Lamborghini Huracan, which at the moment is at the same price point as an LP640, around 160, 170 grand. The Huracan comes in the Dash 4, the Spider, and the Dash 2. I absolutely love all of them. If it's a coupe, then I need it to have the slats. I don't like the engine bay. Um, but they come in all sorts of amazing colors. I think it looks phenomenal. The sound is the only thing that lets that car down because it sounds too similar to the Gallardo. And if I was to put an aftermarket exhaust on it, then it would be exactly the same as my Gallardo with a few extra crackles, which I'm hoping and thinking about in my head that there could potentially be an exhaust company that can tune and engineer a high pitch sound to make it sound like the Lexus LFA or Carrera GT, like Donze's Red Hurricane that I was lucky enough to drive last time I was in Monaco. Moving on to the Aventador, which at the moment is obviously the most expensive mainstream production Lamborghini that they produce. The SV is what they're currently producing. The stock Aventador, you cannot build a new one, but they're currently around 230 to 250,000 pounds for the cheapest version, which shows that they have not depreciated at all in the last four years, which is crazy. What is that for values in the next two years or so? Who knows? Is the Hurricane depreciating? Is the Mercy Lago appreciating? What is the Aventador going to do when the facelift comes out? There are so many questions. I absolutely love the Aventador. It's by far my favorite Lamborghini. And with Nobitech decal, or to be honest, any decal exhaust system, it is sounds phenomenal and also flames like crazy. So hopefully tonight, we can film the entire current or modern Lamborghini family from 2007 onwards, like I photographed last night, but I want to film it tonight, all of them moving. So, fingers crossed, uh, let's get down into central Monaco and have a Lamborghini filled evening. Woohoo! 
Oh, green. Green. Yeah, I think it's obviously a brand or something that's been wrapped like this. Yeah, oh look, it hasn't got. It's yes, your it's the slack. that is how I like. That is how I like it. Check this beast out. Similar spec to the one that I drove. Here we go. A lime green Verde Mantis Hurricane Spider with black and green interior. And here we go, here we go, I'm going to say something. I prefer the Hurricane Spider to the Hurricane Coupe. That is nuts. I'm not a big convertible lover, but the Hurricane Spider, I think the bat looks better than the Hurricane Coupe. So, that Hurricane Spider is a special, special car, and what better place to drive a car like that than in the south of France. If I ever owned a Hurricane Spider, no, oh, there's a Hurricane. <laughs> if I ever owned a Hurricane Spider, I'd have a crazy exhaust. And there's another Hurricane here. <laughs> I'm a bad car spotter tonight. Let's get a better look at this beast. This is the one that we saw earlier today. Stealth mode versus, well, here I am <laughs> in Verdamantis. Oh yes, this is definitely a Lambo night. Perfect night for me to do this video. have changed location for the last 45 minutes or so. It hasn't been too busy, so we've come up to the Hermitage in the Twizzy. Sounds like a Maserati. That's exactly what it is. But we have found another Aventador SV Roadster. The roof is off. Does that mean it's ready to roll? This is a really nice deep blue. Well, you can bloody see it. It's got orange bits, orange Tron, and when a car is up behind it, they kind of glow in the dark, which makes it very, 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 very cool. It's got gloss carbon. I haven't seen one with gloss carbon. It has, hasn't it? This is the best spec one we've seen. It's got gloss carbon everywhere. Oh, it's also got the carbon seats too. So, his back probably hurts driving it. But, it is a very, very, very nice Aventador SV. Right guys, the time is now about half past one, so it's getting pretty late and there aren't any new cars that we're seeing. It's all the same stuff, driving around and doing laps and circles and going from club to casino to all sorts of various places. So, I'm gonna end the vlog here, which it's, uh, yeah, something that I've been thinking about for quite some time and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to get it off my chest and revive the Lamborghini dream. So the adventure begins now. From this video forward, um, I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eyes open. And I know that I've kind of announced, well, uh, it's kind of an announcement, but I've announced it a little bit early. Um, summer 2017 is when I am planning on changing the AMG, which is an absolute beast. But I just got too excited because we're hearing Aventadors, we're hearing Merchilagos, we're hearing Hurricanes. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited. So if you are with me on the plan of getting a Lamborghini after the AMG GTS then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very very soon for another vlog and check out Seb's channel because he Ow. has been filming all of the supercars that we've seen tonight so uh, there's a lot more variation and variety of cars yeah. over on Seb's vlog today so see you tomorrow guys Bye.